Comet Neowise is putting on a spectacular fireball show in the night sky. The glowing tail beauty has been wowing comet watchers around the world this week. Comets don't come streaking our way all that often, at least not bright ones you can see with the naked eyes. It has been falling toward the sun for more than 3,000 years and passed just 27.4 million miles from the sun inside the orbit of Mercury on July. It's now fading slightly as it exits the solar system, though since it's getting slightly closer to Earth, it ought to remain relatively bright for a while. Comet Neowise actually gets closest to Earth on July 23, when it will be 64 million miles away from Earth. Why that name? The comet's official name is C2020F3. The telescope's acronym, NEOWISE, which means Near-Earth Object, Wide Field, Infrared Survey Explorer, was added to simplify it. In its discovery images, Comet NEOWISE appeared as a glowing, fuzzy dot moving across the sky even when it was still pretty far away. As soon as scientists saw how close it would come to the sun, they had hopes that it would put on a good show. The telescope first started taking pictures in December 2009 and has been producing millions of infrared images of distant comets and asteroids ever since. NASA Science Live will air an episode about NEOWISE at noon Pacific time Wednesday on all its social media channels. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. Why does Comet NEOWISE have a tail? In the past few weeks, NEOWISE has developed a spectacular curving tail compost of dust particles ejected from the main body of the comet as it is warmed by the sun. This dusty trail catches sunlight, causing the comet to shine in the night sky. Its tail is about 3 miles across and looks great in a pair of binoculars. What's the best time to see the comet? Last weekend, NEOWISE was visible in the pre-dawn hours. Now it has flipped to evening mode, making for more dramatic viewing against the dark night sky. So peel yourself away from Netflix and go outside for a look. If you miss it, this comet won't be back for another 7,000 years. Neowise will be brightest about an hour and a half after sunset between now and Sunday. Look to the north-northwest, and it should be about 10 degrees above the horizon. It will come closest to Earth on July 22nd. The sky will be good and dark because the moon is in crescent mode and won't cast light that could ruin your view. You should be looking for a faint fuzzy point of light with a fainter, fuzzier tail extending upward from it. The comet will begin to fade later in July, though still be visible with a small telescope until it disappears to the outer solar system around mid-August. Best ways to see the comet. Seek a dark spot far from city lights. Light pollution in urban areas creates a big obstacle when it comes to stargazing. You could drive to high points for some darkness. Haze, smoke, clouds and fog banks can be obstacles to seeing Neowise too. Keep trying on subsequent evenings. You should be able to see the comet with the naked eye, but binoculars or a small telescope could help.